So the start of the FA Cup second round today for Liverpool. They're facing Wolves lying in the championship. They're down in 20th position, not having a great season at all. With a lot of spaces separating the two sides. Liverpool lying in fourth in the Barclays Premier League. But Wolves get us underway for at least 90 minutes of football, possibly more, dependent on the scoreline. What can the championship side do here today? Here is Van der Parra. Trying to get in behind Jose Enrique. We'll start the push early on here down this right-hand side. Van Napata poking it through. Shabalala does uh, really well. Lays it inside towards Reed, and that is a wonderful finish. And a dream start for the championship side. Well, he got carved wide open. Reed just turning on a dime and slotting it past Mandata. Ricketts trying to hold off Barini, but uh, he's done well to come back and cover. Here's Lalana, beautiful pass through towards Daniel Sturridge, Stim and trying to come across, but well, the Englishman will be disappointed there. He hasn't at least hit the target. Next up for Liverpool, facing Crystal Palace away from home. First things first, they have to get back in this game. Here's Goldborn. Challenged by Johnson, deflected out for a Wolves throw. Sacco, Goldborn, back towards him. Flick inside. Savili, towards Reed. It's a beautiful turn. Johnson trying to get there, but number two for Wolves. Number two for Reed. Oh, what a nightmare this is for Luigi's side. Two goals conceded in the space of 12 minutes. And it's Reed there yet again. Here is Reed. Trying to turn Skirtle inside out. What a game he's having so far. Liverpool having a hard time trying to contain him. Coutinho. Finding Daniel Sturridge, looking for some options. It's a beautiful pass through towards Barini. Chance to get back in the game. And that's exactly what Barini does. Two goals to one. A splitting pass by Daniel Sturridge through the defender's legs. And Barini with a tidy finish. Trying to find Van Pader. Enrique went diving straight into him. The referee said it was an obstruction. Decided to play on. Here is Huvedes. Late challenge on him. Daniel Sturridge inside to find Berini. Beautiful feet by the Italian. It's come nicely towards Lalana, who tried to curl it in the far corner. But in the end, always heading just wide. Huvedes just touching it inside to find Joe Allen. Coutinho. Lalana. Not a great pass by the Englishman. McDonald swinging that out wide, looking for Edwards. He flicks it inside. Joe Allen wins the header. Ricketts. Just trying to play it through the middle. It's a bit of a forced pass in the end. Whoever it is towards Allen. Lalana Balotelli, who's come on this second half to try and give the Liverpool a little bit more life up top. Coutinho, Balotelli. Stearman trying to get near him, didn't want to, and Balotelli with a clinical finish. Well, the Italian's only been on the field about 25 minutes. What a strike it was. Stearman didn't get close enough to him, got it out of his feet, and then just smashing this into the far corner. Sacco, goal board. Wolves led two goals to nil, but Luigi's side bouncing back to tie things up. Still 20 minutes left to play. Deflected away, Sacco will get there ahead of his man. Trying to turn and hit it on a dime. Ricketts towards Edwards. Jose Enrique hasn't had the greatest game, Jose Enrique, down this left-hand side. Ricketts. Nice play past Coutinho. 
Good bit of feet by Wolves, but Mandala did well. Sterling, death touch to find Coutinho. Coming up to the 90th minute. We are still deadlocked here at two apiece. It's not been the game Luigi would have wanted. Wolves have really shown what they've been capable of though today. Here's Joe Allen. Finding Sterling, Balotelli towards Coutinho. Back towards the Italian. It's Balotelli deflected away and he's done it. Mario Balotelli. Two goals for him in the second half. We'll put Liverpool surely through now. What a turn up for the books. Balotelli showing his pace, power, strength and everything. And then a routine finish. Oh, what a kick in the teeth for Wolves. So close. We're into the final few seconds. There is the full-time whistle. And you can see the relief on the Liverpool players because they were close to being knocked out of the FA Cup. But he has finished Wolves 2, Liverpool 3. It was a pretty even matchup. Wolves having more possession, actually, but Balotelli coming on and being your man of the match. So look at some of the other results. Liverpool next will face Queen's Park Rangers. Arsenal winning there through with Chelsea, Manchester City. I will be sure to fix the names for the next round. So we are live at Selhurst Park for today's game. Crystal Palace down in 11th place so far this season. Two wins for them, two draws and two defeats. Slicked inside. Only as far as Steven Gerrard back in the side today. No doubt they did miss the captain for the game against Wolves where they narrowly progressed through to the third round. Was Balotelli coming on and stealing the show in the end? Does start today. Coutinho does find Steven Gerrard. Lines up the strike. Decent save. Clearing it away, Crystal Palace, but only as far as Gerrard yet again. Here's Schmack. Punch it. Against Enrique. Kelly. Towards Ledley. A little bit better this from Crystal Palace. A bit of possession for them. Schmack. Just trying to turn his man inside out. Does really well. Great feed by him. Inside towards Campbell. But into the side netting. Punch in. Skipping past Jose Enrique. Kelly with the overlapping run. A chance to possibly swing this one in. Decides to lay it square. Campbell's there yet again. But into the arms of Mandada. It's in the right place at the right time. Final few minutes remain of the half. Dip high. Towards Daniel Sturridge. Jedanak trying to stay with him. He finds Gerrard. Towards Sturridge. Oh, what a turn by Daniel Sturridge. Beautiful feet. And that is quality. Daniel Sturridge gives Liverpool the lead moments before half time. Well, the old birdie celebration, but what a turn. Little Cruyff. Two yards of space. Back of the net. Here's Coutinho. Poor pass though. Straight towards Shemak. Jedanak. Campbell. Oh, what a ball that is through towards Ledley. Chance to get back on level terms. Well, it must have been close. Lovren maybe just putting him off, but what a chance to equalise. Coutinho, pass Ledley, great feet by the young player. Jose Enrique, powering his way through this left-hand side, looking for Markovic, cleared away. Only as far as Steven Gerrard. Well, the Englishman, capable of scoring from that distance, wasn't far away. Lovren, Coutinho, finding Steven Gerrard. 20 minutes to play. Liverpool lead. Narrowly one goal to nil thanks to Daniel Sturridge's fine bit of trickery and finish. Glenn Johnson managing to keep it alive as he whips it in towards Balotelli. And that's number two. Three goals in two games for the Italian. 
Well, it was an inch perfect pass from Johnson. And a pretty emphatic header. Medley finding Kelly. Crystal Palace have tried and fought hard today, but it really hasn't worked out for them. Try and flood players into the box here. Jose Enrique really having a poor game again today. Campbell does. Oh, it's poor defending, but Crystal Palace back in it. Here's Bannon, Campbell, two minutes to stop is just to be played, Liverpool trying to hang on to this narrow 2-1 lead, Campbell, back towards Ledley, oh, trying to flick it through, it wasn't a great pass, Mandada can just smash it away, cleared only as far as Steven Gerrard and there is the full time whistle here at Selhurst Park, Liverpool hanging on to win, two goals to one, was Daniel Sturridge and Mario Balotelli's fine goals that has picked the three points for Luigi's side. Very even game on the shot count. Liverpool with a little bit more possession. Your man of the match was Steven Gerrard. So look at the other results. Manchester United winning 4-2. Aston Villa winning 5-0 against West Brom. Chelsea losing 4-0 against Manchester City as they continue to win game after game. So we take a look at the table, Man City now, seven wins out of seven. It remains unchanged in the top four. The Chelsea dropping down into 11th position. So there we have it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Up next is Hull City back in Anfield. We'll be back shortly with some more. But until next time, have a great Christmas. See you guys in the next one. Take care.